Hi, everybody. I am just so excited. I've had just such a wonderful day in the Lord today, and i got to make this quick because I've got company coming in uh, 15 minutes. And so the thing is this. I am just, oh, my goodness. The life of God is teeming through me. I was exercising, I was on my machine and I was listening to the word and I thought to myself, oh my goodness, I, this love that is in my heart is so consuming. I just want to do so many things. I want to be so many places. And I said, I wish I could just clone myself so I could just do so much and then the scripture came to me where Paul said in Galatians 1, 16, well, it starts at 15, it says, but when it pleased God who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace to reveal his son in me that I might preach among the heathen, I immediately conferred not with flesh and blood. Paul said, God revealed his son in him. And that word in, well, first of all, the word reveal means to take off the cover. Okay, something that was hidden now, God's taken off the cover. And in is denoting a fixed position a relation of rest to give self holy to. In other words, God gave himself to Paul through his son, and Paul actually experienced the life of God being revealed in him. And yet, oh my goodness, that is so glorious. And the thing is, in Psalm, listen to this one, okay? You've got to realize what, what Paul was experiencing. Paul was experiencing a revelation of Jesus Christ within himself, okay? And that's what caused him to go and turn the world upside down. In Psalm 34, verse 4, it says, I sought the Lord and he heard me. Now let's just realize this is Old Testament. This is before Christ. So they were seeking, okay, the Lord. But Jesus, when he came, he says, I have come to seek and to save that which was lost. So now God's the one doing the seeking, okay? But this is the result of the encounter. It says, they looked unto him and their faces were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. In other words, he's saying their faces became so radiant. Oh my goodness, hallelujah. This is just too good. It is just too glorious. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Um, this is a word the Lord gave me. From Matthew 5, 8, it says, the pure in heart shall see God, okay? The pure in heart shall see God. If you look at that through a legalistic mindset, you'll, you'll automatically feel condemnation and shame because you're not pure enough. Well, you can never be pure in heart through your own doing. It's only through God's doing, amen? And Jesus said in John 15, 3, you're clean through the word I've spoken. It's all you got to do is believe the word and you're clean. You're as white as the driven snow. Amen. In Hebrews 10, 14, it says through a one-time offering, you've been perfected forever. When your heart believes that, honey, oh, your conscience is cleansed. And the scripture says in Hebrews 10, that we need our conscience sprinkled, our evil conscience. And that word evil is a works mentality. It's toil and labor. Once, once you see the truth, 
You remember Jesus says, if you continue in my word, you'll know the truth and the truth will make you free. Once you see the truth of who you are in Christ, your works mentality is down the toilet. Your evil conscience has been sprinkled and now you see your innocence. And when you do, bam, you see God. You see who he really is. Your face is lightened. Oh my goodness, you realize you're filled with the living God that he loves you and he adores you and he will never leave you nor forsake you and he's teeming through you. I'm telling you what, I would never believe the way I feel right now that I'm 66 years old. I feel like I'm about 12. Amen. Because, oh, this glorious life is so wonderful. Amen. And do you know that word see? The pure in heart shall see God. Listen to this. This will blow your socks off. We are able to see with eyes wide open as at something remarkable, not as other words see, which denote simple, simply passive observation. You know, you can say, Oh, I saw so-and-so today. No big deal. But this is eyes wide open, seeing who God really is. My goodness, everything is in him. He is beautiful. He's altogether lovely. There's none like him. Oh, he's the fairest among 10,000. Man, get your eyes peeled back and see Jesus as he truly is. Oh, and see that he loves you. It will turn your world upside down. I am just so thankful. And I got to share all that in less than 10 minutes. So it means I don't have to go through a whole procedure of getting it up to YouTube. I love you all. Oh, you're my family. I love the whole world. My heart is just it wants to give you all a great big hug. I just love you, love you, love you. You know why? Because I've been born from love. My father is love. It's not that he has love. No, that's what he is. And that's what I am because he made me in his image. So I'm just so excited and God bless you and... Feed on Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah.